Hello, welcome to online tutorial of WorkFusion, RPA Express created by Tilik Poutal. Today, we are going to discuss, use of some newly added features of WorkFusion like Excel set range, and use of list and table variable in it. Let's have a quick example to demonstrate the use of set range in Excel automation. In this example, we have to collect the temperature of city names listed in city names XLS and paste it into the output file listed temperature XLS. Let's start scripting for this example. Drag drop open spreadsheet from Excel and select the input file as city names XLS. Our first column contains city names. We need to collect this column value and put it into a list variable. For that, in record a variable create a variable. Call it as city, select data type as list. Now from action library drag drop get column value. Select position as first and select the list variable as city. This will store the content of column first in our list variable. Now, we need to apply a for each loop over this list variable to collect temperature values from Google, and store it on table variable. For that create a table variable. Name it as result table. Select type table. Create a variable temperature, to hold values of temperatures of each city. Create a list variable to store result. Name it as result list. Now, drag drop for each loop. Select list variable city from drop-down. Give a temporary name to current item as name. Now drag drop the constant value from variables to clear the result list variable. Drag drop open website. Give site URL www.google.com. Set wait up 2 to 30 milliseconds. Now drag drop enter key stocks. Select type text, type text, temperature of, and give a space. Again drag drop enter key strokes, select type text from variable. Select our name variable from drop down. Again drag drop enter key strokes, select key combination, press enter. Above actions will open google.com and will search from temperature of city. Now once result is shown. We need to collect the temperature in temperature variable. For that, drag drop web element, select get value. Now search for temperature of any city on google.com from Chrome, and get the x path of temperature div from result. Paste it in x path element x box. Select save variable value to temperature from drop down. Now, we need to store this collected value and city name to a list. And from list to a table. For that, drag drop expression. Select the result list from drop down. Select push. Select value to append to name. Again drag drop expression. Select the result list from drop down. Select push. Select value to append to temperature. Now we need to store this list into a table. For that, drag drop expression. Select variable to result table. Select expression to push. Select value to append to result list. Select as row. The above actions in for each loop will collect city names and temperature in result table. We need to store result table to listed temperature XLS. For that, outside of the for each loop, drag drop open spreadsheet. Select the listed temperature XLS. Make sure you check save file after last action checkbox otherwise results will not be stored in XLS. Now, drag drop set range. Select result table from drop down. Select from cell 2A1. As we need to start printing values from first column. Now let's save and play the recording.
As you can see, the result is populated in XLS. This is it for today. Comment down suggestions if any. Goodbye. Have a nice day.